Hey YouTube fam, what is up? How is everybody doing? <clears throat> What's going on YouTube fam? Coming at you guys with a video today to chit chat about stuff, but mostly supplements and yeah. Well, hemoglobin levels. Yes. So <laughs> hemoglobin levels. Um, mm -hmm. that's why you take it away. <laughs> okay, so um, we had talked about vitamins, and I talked about what I was taking before. And I want to go into, I guess, more depth on. Sorry, I know I'm looking real ratchet. It is what it is. Y'all, yeah, you know, you the first time y'all gonna see it. It's um, <laughs> um, um, but I want to talk about the supplements that I'm using and the manner in which I'm using them because I hear like I've just been seeing a lot lately, like people um, taking vitamins. They've been taking for like you know four months, and they go to get their hemoglobin levels checked. And, you know, they need to be, you know, at a 13 and they're like 11. You know what I mean? Or they're low. Um, <clears throat> so, anyways, I'm taking iron. Um, and I was taking liquid iron. I still am. I just got to uh, get some more. But this is the liquid iron that I was taking. It's 125 milligrams um, per serving. Okay? So... And I'm taking um, vitamin C, which is 500 milligrams per serving. And then I'm taking um, vitamin uh, B12. Yeah. And I think it's 1,000 MCGs, which is 100 milligrams per serving. Right? 1,000 goes down to... Yeah. yeah. So it's not only 100 milligrams per serving. But vitamin B12 is good, but it's not the most important thing. These two things are the most important thing. Your iron. Um, yeah. Your iron and your vitamin C. So <laughs> I take my iron and vitamin C and my vitamin B12 three times a day. P you can't take <laughs> iron three times a day and only um, calcium once a day. I mean, not calcium, but vitamin C once a day. You have to take enough um, enough amount of vitamin C to carry all of the supplemental iron into the places where it needs to be. Because um, if you only take a little bit of vitamin C and a large amount of iron, you're wasting most of that iron. It's going to be, right, you're going to be kind of peeing it out. Yeah, exactly, because the vitamin C helps you absorb that iron into your red blood cells. You want to absorb so, all the iron. Yeah. And not just like parts of it. The more vitamin C you have in comparison to your iron, the more iron is going to be absorbed. So if I was taking if I was taking a thousand milligrams of iron and only you know a hundred milligrams of vitamin C, nine, nine times of ten, almost ninety percent of the thousand milligrams of iron that I'm taking is gonna go fl be flushed right out of my system. Yeah, especially if you're taking tablets because tablets exactly. you don't get to absorb as much from a tablet anyway. So they're still good. Like you know you don't have to take liquid iron, um, but. You still, you need this. I was going to say, the only other thing that you could do is be drinking orange juice all day or something. You mm -hmm. got to take, like you said, the vitamin C every time you take your iron supplement. It's not enough to just take it in the morning. Um, or just once with the dose. It's it nice. works, y'all, because I've, I've been taking my supplements. Uh, I think I took them, and I think two for after two months. Or like two, maybe two and a half months. I got my um, my levels checked, and I'm a fifth. I was a fifteen, and I got my levels checked while I was on my monthly cycle because that's a worst case scenario for me yeah. when I do go down to the DR. Because um, you know the plane, the plane flight is going to make your um, make your iron levels drop, which I have a solution for that that I'm definitely going to be doing. Um, but you know what I mean. If I okay, go sit down. If I was to, if so happens I'm on my cycle, I'm down there. I know that my iron level at least is going to be a 15 because that's what I that's what I choose to take uh, get my iron checked while I'm on my cycle um, but anyways so I'm taking when I take um, my when I take my iron I'll take um, I'm taking the pills right now because I'm all out of out of liquid iron but so I'm taking the pills these pills which they look like they shouldn't get all these you can get these uh, off of Amazon this I got from uh, Walgreens Anyways, I'm taking this. There are 106 milligrams per tablet. I'm taking um, I'm taking it twice a day, four tablets. So I'm taking a total of like 400 and what 24, yeah, 424 milligrams of um, of iron. So in the morning, I'll take two tablets of this. I'll take two tablets of this too, and that's a thousand milligrams of vitamin C. So everything I should be absorbing. 
all um, 212 um, because each pill is 106 milligrams. So it'll be 212 total. I should be absorbing all 212 milligrams of that iron. And I take that twice a day. And I also take the vitamin B along with it twice a day to um, uh, two gummies. So it'll be a total of um, 200 milligrams. It's so important to take these. I t literally take them together. You can't, I don't just take this in the morning and then take this three times a day. And that's that. Because I'm wasted. After the first go with with, cal with the vitamin C, the other two times that I take iron and I don't take uh, vitamin C, I'm wasting that iron. I pretty much wasted that pill. So anyway, so yeah, I did. I got my iron checked, and it was it was a uh, it was it was 15 on my um on my cycle. I'm gonna get it checked again, um, um here in the next couple of weeks, and I'll also share those results with you guys as well. I'm expecting it to be higher because I'm gonna take my iron, um, get my iron levels checked off of my cycle, um, so I can see where I'm at. Um, but also too, I also want to talk about at first when I, what I was taking at first. At first, I was taking, um, and I'm only going to talk about iron because that's the, I, the amount of iron and stuff like that because I feel like that's the most important. Um, at first, I was taking, um, I think it was a 35 milligram tab, and I was taking that um, every morning. And then after like a couple weeks, I started taking it two times a day. And then, like a week later, I took it three times a day. And then I got the liquid iron, and I took that twice a day. And then I went to three times a day. And so I just kind of built up the amount of iron that I was taking. And you don't have to do that. You can straight off, start straight off the bat. But I don't know how my body was going to do with mm -hmm. iron. Yeah, because I don't want to be, like, super, super, super constipated. But I haven't had that problem. Because some people can make you sick a little bit. Yeah. Um, when you flood iron into your stomach, yeah. it'll go straight to your bloodstream. Mm -hmm. So, and that's why you want the vitamin C to go straight to your cells, not yeah. just flood your bloodstream. But, um, like you said, vitamin C is, like, the biggest thing. Because, um, periodically, like, I'll donate plasma. And, like, they always check your hemocrit. And it's, like, there's, like, a relationship between hemoglobin and, and your hemocrit level. Because yeah. you, if you look on Latoya's... Didn't you put your thing up on the page? I did. My, hemo my hemocrit level is a 43 point something. Yeah. And if you guys can see, my, um, my iron, uh, or my hemoglobin was 14.9, which is, you know, pretty much a 15. Exactly. Um, and that was on my cycle. <laughs> so, you know it's higher. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, so normally I'll take an iron pill to boost my blood, you know, composition or whatever before the test or before I, I donate plasma or whatever. But this day I didn't have it. So all I did was I had gone to the saddle bar and I grabbed like a handful, like a good amount of uh, raw spinach. And I had my uh, vitamin C tablets, my whole vitamin pack that I take with me, and I took two. And they told me that my hemocrit was a 46 when yeah. I went to go donate. And I was like, what? Because normally I just take an iron tablet and then I take a vitamin C tablet. But I noticed that day I did. I doubled what I took for vitamin C and I ate raw spinach. So I thought that that was kind of like a key factor in terms of like knowing that vitamin C is very, very important for that iron to really stick to your cells. Yeah. And, um... I, we didn't talk about diet yet, but like I know a lot of people, like we've been seeing just a ton of posts of where ladies are having struggling with like getting their iron levels either normal or just like above 12 because you want yeah, to it's like the, I have surgeries. And so it's like people you gotta, are struggling to do that. It seems almost like a point it. where it made me worry about my own <laughs> levels, like, even real? though I've already got it checked. It was because I'm like, how, I don't, yeah. Like, is this real? So um, I think what Latoya said is for real the key is like, Make sure you take vitamin C every single time you take iron. Um, mm -hmm. And we started out like that, but if you're taking anything else, go ahead and take it. Because, like, when I first, when we first made up a regimen together in the morning, Latoya was taking a lot of other stuff, like she said. And then she gradually came up with her own uh, three main things she wanted to take to build her blood volume and her blood composition up strong. But if you take another stuff, it's not bad. Take it. Everything is going to make you healthier, especially turmeric, um, vitamin A and E. Um, all those things are good to have in your system before surgery. But take your iron and your vitamin C separately. I think that's a tip. Yeah. Always take vitamin C, but take it separately if you can. 20 to 30 minutes before you take anything else so it doesn't contradict. Because I think that might be a problem people are having. If you're taking a whole bunch of supplement, supplements at the same time, you can take vitamin C you can take iron and you can take vitamin B together. Yeah, those but things like together. Other things is gonna like counteract. You know what I mean? It's gonna yeah. counteract it, and so, so you're not gonna get all this Do stuff. Do not take multivitamins or vitamin D. Vitamin D for yeah, sure counteracts yeah. 
Exactly. It blocks it. The cell is going to accept vitamin D over, over iron yeah. before. So you don't want to take those together just in case. I know that might not, might not, might, might not be the case. Sorry, I can't talk. <laughs> so, because I know some people have told us they're just taking iron and they still having problems. But I would say check your diet. You need good sources of complete proteins. If you don't eat meat, that's not necessarily the biggest thing. But try to increase your intake of raw Vegetables like leafy greens that are, have a lot of iron, like the spinach. Um, fish is really, really good. I'm a big Latoya, fish eater. Eat I'm not a big food. meat eater, but I'm a, I'm a huge fish eater. Yeah, so other things, those are uh, eggs, of course. But um, yeah, just look into uh, iron-rich nuts because that might also help build up the blood composition because I'm thinking people may not know it or they might know it already. Anemia and then health is the only other things I can think of that would affect iron levels yeah. and you being able to build your iron levels up even when you're taking supplements because if you're anemic it is going to be hard but yeah. um diet is the other thing that they give you in terms of medication so that's the only thing i can think of to check like if you're really struggling with levels get that vitamin c and you might want to take vitamin c by yourself too on a regimen like take your iron up that vitamin c see what your limit is i know my personal limit of vitamin c in any one setting is three thousand Everybody's different, and if your body's deficient in vitamin C, that might be something you need to take five times a I day. I take 3,000, um, because if I'm taking the, uh, the pills uh, three times a day, I'm taking the vitamin C uh, three times a day, and it's 1,000 milligrams per serving that I choose to take. Um, so I make sure I get all my iron. What else was I was going to say? I was going to say something else, and I just totally lost me. Totally forgot. Um, um, oh, I, I feel like, too, uh, another thing that may help is... When you, if you do decide to get um, surgery, um, I do suggest getting your iron levels checked in the beginning. So after a while, when you're taking your your vitamins or your things, and you think your things should be your your levels should be higher, you're not shocked because if you start out low, you know. You know what I mean? The, you, know, you know what I mean? So you know exactly where you, your starting point. Uh, that's one thing I didn't do. I didn't know my starting point. So, um, but. You know, I'm where I need to be. But if I had known, if if I if I wasn't where I need to be, it would have been a good idea to have known my starting point because then I would have really went. You know what I mean? You really want to go hard yeah. on the iron, yeah. yeah. And, and like it, you said too, be prepared to do the IV treatment. Yeah, because I had prepared so myself because I was worried when I kept seeing a bunch of girls like we <laughs> getting their stuff checked and they say they took SS tonic and this and that and that and then they were like, come back with a twelve and. I was like, I want a mommy makeover because I did decide to um, um, to get my boobs done. Um, so I'm going to get a full mommy makeover. I'm getting a, a, lift and, a, a lift and reduction. I'm not getting implants. I don't want any foreign bodies uh, in my body. That's just me personally because I don't I don't want to deal with the upkeep. I'm lazy. I, you know, I'm <laughs> um, so I'm just going to be getting the um, lift and reduction. Um, and then, uh, tummy tuck, um, tummy tuck, um, you know, lipo and BBL, muscle repair too with the tummy tuck. Um, but your hemoglobin levels have to be a 15. That's what, uh, Dr. Medina, uh, asks, um, for you to have. So thank goodness I am there, but it was worrying me. Like I was like slightly worried, like, <laughs> yeah, cause we were just confused. And a lot of people have been asking. Ever since she posted up her results, people have been asking, like, how did you do that? Like, how, even on me, how did Latoya do that? Like, you must know. <laughs> You're the help me. She, what did you do? <laughs> I do. I literally, every time I take iron, I take a thousand milligrams of vitamin C. I, I do my vitamin C first. It's chewable. I chew it up, swallow it, and then I take my iron, and then I take my vitamin B. Yeah, if you're having a hard time, other on the tip I can think of, not to boost, but if you're having a hard time stomach wise, get you some um, omeprazole. So that way, and that's over the counter, like whether you're taking Prilosec, OTC, or something like that to coach your stomach. Because Latoya was saying she takes four tablets, that might be too much. I think at the most in one time, I might be only able to take two iron tablets, maybe three, because I will feel sick. And it's just the flooding of. I only the take two a piece. I can't take. I I oh, say, I take 400. Girl, oh, I thought that you was... said four tablets. I was like, the baby is no serious. Ma'am, sir. Like, she, no, ma'am. She, no wonder she got a big team. I only take, oh, I, I only take 400, <laughs> 424 milligrams worth of iron daily. Oh. That's it. But it's, twi but it's twice a day or three times. I'll break it up to three times a day. Two That's together amazing. in the morning, 
one in the mid, one in the afternoon, and one in the evening. But I always take a thousand milligrams so, worth of vitamin C. Guys, yeah, that's a good girl. That's a good literally. Thing that's to know. all. I'm so taking. that's less than five hundred milligrams of iron a day. But her but the level, before when I when I checked my level, my level was a fifteen. I was only taking. 200 and some change milligrams worth of because remember i'm going to take the that's iron right iron. when you're taking liquid iron no you won't have to take as much that's the that's the plus and i don't know how I'm ss tonic works because ss tonic is like has a whole bunch okay. of other stuff in it oh we do i can stomach ss tonic y'all yeah, i tried that it triggered my my up chuck reflex just like that yeah anybody who's taking ss tonic you know who you is, are shut up like <laughs> That joint is cause you do that. That put that put hair on your chest that one way. Like, <laughs> girl, you might have to go back for a round two just to get that move. Girl, that I I opened it and immediately. I was like, I mean, it's yeah. just it just. And I'm taking a lot of supplements, but that joint right there, that shit right there, I could terrible. not. I, I, I barely take a brand new bottle. I could not. No, I know. We should do a giveaway. Because <laughs> no, it's already it. open. Girl, I, it's already yeah, it's open. open. I tried it with, um, I tried to take it with a shot with like really strong juice. Oh, even yeah. Then, I made her some really strong <laughs> Even then, like. Oh, God. And I, I never even took a dose. I couldn't. All I did was taste it. Taste my tongue to a spoonful I had. I couldn't do it. Oh. Alcohol. And this is such a weird thing. But, but it's true. Wine. Wine, red, red wine. wine. Red wine. Red wine. Uh, yeah, alcohol helps you uh, build your blood up. Um, I'm not saying become an alcoholic, yeah. but <laughs> like, ooh, that's why that's how SS Tonic it. has alcohol, alcohol in it yeah. because alcohol, it, it will, it'll help build, build your blood up. That's why they say red wine is good for the heart. Yep. It makes your blood, uh, it helps you the volume. It, it increases the volume. So, because alcohol, it, it is an accelerant a little bit, so I was going to say, I know somebody might be like, well, alcohol thins your blood. It might at first, but alcohol is actually depressant. So mm -hmm. eventually, it calms you down and your blood thickens. So it's going to decrease your heart rate, so your blood volume goes up. You have more sales. That's the other thing that I wanted to hit on. Because when you got tested, we waited almost three months. Your blood cells are only alive for 120 days. Yeah. So... Don't be discouraged if your first test is negative and you've only been taking your supplements for a month because your old red blood cells might not even be yeah. dead yet. So yeah. your new generation of healthy red blood cells and abundance of hemoglobin might not show up just yet. Yeah. Um, so I that's why I think that's why I suggested getting it, taking it when you decide if you decide to get surgery and you you know you have your date scheduled. Take your test so you can see where your starting point is, yeah. and then take your supplements for three months. That gives you 120, uh, 120 days or whatever, or it gives you ninety days. But yeah, but it's still three months is good. And then go go get them checked, and it you should if you're taking your supplements correctly, you should see an increase. Because I like I said, vitamin C is I don't even take that much iron. I don't yeah, take like a like, shit ton of I, I don't that. I don't take a shit ton of iron, mm -hmm. but I take a shit ton of vitamin C, so I'm That's getting key. everything I need. Um, I, I'm not wasting any iron supplement because I'm taking too much iron, more than enough. I mean, I'm sorry, too much vitamin C. Because if I'm only taking, you know, uh, 100 milligrams of iron for one dose, but I'm taking 1,000 um, a a milligrams of uh, vitamin C, everything is going to be absorbed. I'm wasting, yeah. I'm wasting vitamin C. I'd rather waste vitamin C than my iron supplement. You know what I mean? I'd rather have too much vitamin C and then, you know, it'll go through my urine system or whatever, then have not enough and not enough for my iron and then I'm wasting the iron and I'm releasing the iron. It's just flooding through my system. So. Yeah, that's a good thing because vitamin C, you can't really OD on it, but like you said, it helps you with everything else. I think that's, I think that's the thing. Yeah. Thing. If you don't do anything else, increase your vitamin C intake threefold. There's chewies, there's gummies, there's sour patch stuff. You don't have to take it in a tablet form if you don't want to. Um, or if that's the easiest way, go ahead. But of course, remember, if you take something that's not dissolvable or gummy, just like a tablet, you don't absorb as much. Because I was going to say, I think that's a good thing about the boost that might be in terms of what Latoya is getting is because we've always had chewable vitamin C tablets. It's right. almost like an Alka-Seltzer tablet in the water. It fizzes, it goes right into your bloodstream. So I just I just chew it and, you know, drink it right now. And it actually doesn't even taste that bad. Do you want to talk about the chair? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want me to get it? Or? Yeah. I'm uh, looking at my results real quick so I can actually show my results. Okay. 
This is one thing to say it. Can you see? Can you see? Something? I'll let you know. We, you know how we had talked uh, previously about us making the BBL, um, a BBL chair and bed to sleep in. So this is what we're talking about now. Yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. Let me do it. Can't. Okay, so this is a chair. You can see it has a hole in it, and that's where, um, and then it does, it reclines all the way out, as you can see. That's where my bottom is going to be it. We are going to go get, um, like, memory foams or, like, the pads that you would see, like, that you kind of make to make your mattress thicker. Um, what are you doing? I was trying to make, get it to the CD. <laughs> position and it's not working with me but that's okay um yeah i'm trying to figure out like i, I was are you trying to show them the mobility of it i'm confused <laughs> on what's happening here because <laughs> i really did i thought you you know how you be on those um those shop now networks and they be moving the thing they they're constantly move. moving the product so they so you can see. see it folds right up <laughs> that's what i swear to god i thought you was doing that i was because remember you sat in it in a sitting position and i don't remember the chair looking like this that sounds like what just it's okay. There's a, there's locks on both sides of these, so I know y'all looking like I don't know if that's gonna work out for you. <laughs> that's why I was like, like when it be like this, bit. you might not want to sit like that. Okay, so here here are my results. Sorry, I pulled up the labs. Anyways, as you can see, my hemocrit was forty three point three. My hemoglobin level was forty was fourteen point nine, and this was taken when I was on my cycle. So once I get my results again, um, once I take a test again, which I'm going to do it in two weeks, um, I'll show you you guys what my um, what my levels are. But anyways, I'll show you. I'll sit in the chair for you so you guys can take a look at. Oh, here, and I can take them off the tripod. I was going to say, this chair is from Big Lots. We didn't go to no fancy place. No, we sure did not. We didn't spend no, a whole bunch of money. I actually got it on a really, really. Oh, there it goes. Now you can see it at 90 degree angle. Okay, I didn't know what was happening. But anyway. Oh, well, you were struggling. You know, yeah. having one of the moments. Okay. I was. But I want to show them underneath, so I'm going to take this little <laughs> tripod style. I'm going to need help getting up out of it, but... So, yeah, I might have to put you guys down. So, okay, I'm about to rotate y'all, so just bear with me, because I want you to be able to see yeah. underneath. Oh, this is horizontal again. Let me take this off. Hold on, guys. Okay, as you can see, I'm sitting comfortably in your chair. Now, mind you, we're going to add some foams uh, to, to thicken out the chair so that it's, um, it, it has extra padding. But you can see my hole behind is through the hole. And when I want to lay down, I just kind of, I'll have, you know, Kalia push me back. And I'm able to sleep like this when my behind is still, you know, through the hole. So, this is going to be my BBL chair. And so we're going to pat it. And we'll show you once we're finished with it. But I just wanted to show you the idea. I don't have my whole, my whole, these things and whatnot. Oh. Sorry. The camera, just <laughs> no, it's kind of dark. <laughs> no, nah, ain't no striptease on my bed. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> now I need help getting up out of this moment because I am definitely Okay, stuck. pause. Let me pause. <laughs> so anyways, that's the chair. So this is what I'll be using. When we're finished with it, we'll definitely show you the finished product yeah. um, and how we... Because we're going to... Um, um, glue gun the foams and the padding in there yeah. and we'll show you how we how we did that and kind of just explain. I gotta put a cup holder on it for her so yeah like um, so anyways I think that was it as far as the topic um, I'd let you guys know the update as far as uh, the surgery which is I'm getting a full mind makeover I know before previously we talked about me just getting a tummy tuck with um, with muscle repair and the BBL, but I do, and then, I, matter of fact, on that video, Khalid had mentioned, like, oh, you should get your, your boobs done. Yeah. I was like, oh, maybe I'll, you know, mention it to Medina. <laughs> and I did, and so she quoted me a different price. If you guys are interested in, like, the new pricing and stuff like that, um, just let me know. But um, I think that's I think that's all we wanted to discuss today. Did you, did we, did you want to discuss anything else? Or no? No, I think that's it, because we wanted to show the chair... We talked all the good stuff about the supplements. Yeah, that was the main thing I wanted to, uh, to talk about, though, is that, that uh, those hemoglobin levels and um, how to actually take them probably. It worked for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or at least it what we do. It works for you, doing. too. Yeah, it so, works. Because it works for both of us. Because I did it in a pinch, and my 
Hemocratic. Take a bunch of vitamin C. Because I'm going to get tested too. I don't have no results to show you. So um, I was going to get tested just to see where I am. Like she said, when you start in, um, even though I am a sway. Um, <laughs> you still want to know. You still want to know. So yeah, I was going to say, because I'm trying to get that mommy makeover too, so to speak. But I don't have no quote for y'all. Nothing yet. So Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's it, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. All right, bye, guys. <laughs>